I'd like to extend a really warm welcome to everyone joining us today for this information session on Summer School 2022. My name is Rob Eggleston and I work as Summer School's University Relationships Manager and I'm really pleased to be introducing the programme to you today. I'm also delighted that we're going to be joining, joined by Professor Wim van der Steed, who's Professor of Accounting and Financial Management, Head of Department of um, Accounting and Summer School's Academic Director. So you can, you can tell from the number of job title there that Professor van der Steed is a very busy man, so it's really great to have his time and contribution today. Um, I'm, after that, we're going to be joined by two summer school alumni, Katerina and Daria, who are going to share their student experience um, that they enjoyed over this recent summer. So we're going to be joined as well by um, some summer school program um, staff who are going to be working in the Q&A function to help answer your questions. And I'll come on to that in a moment in terms of how that all works. And most importantly, of course, we're joined by a really large number of participants and um, you all today um, and, and these are going to be people joining us from all over the world and it's really a distinctive hallmark of our program. We're Europe's largest summer school program and it's got a really huge global reach. So what would be nice for now I think I can already see um, that the chat function is very busy but what would be really nice to start things off is if you go in there just perhaps drop your first name which university and country you're from and and I think it'll be a great way for you to get a sense of of the global scope of this program so the session itself in terms of the um, introduction to the program will last around 35 to 40 minutes um, and we'll leave some time for questions and answers at the end so it's going to begin with Professor van der Steed introducing LSE and the program itself I'll take over to give you a bit of a summary of the program offering and our three program strands, um, and then we'll leave some time for questions and answers at the end. Um, I mentioned earlier about having summer school staff involved in the webinar as well, so they're going to be taking part as non-speaking participants. But if you hover over your screen, you'll see next to the chat function, there is a Q&A bubble. So whilst we go along, going along with the presentation, do feel free to write questions in that Q&A function as we're going along. And um, my colleagues, Ailish, Har um, Lauren and Georgia will help out with answering those questions. We're going to leave time at the end as well for, for a dedicated q and session. Um, just to let you know, we're recording this session to be able to make it available for a resource um, for, for you and people that might not have been able to join us live at a later time. So that's all from me for now. Um, I hope you really enjoy your session, get a really um, full sense of all the great things that Summer School's got to offer you. And I'm going to hand over now to Professor van der Steet. Yes, thank you, Rob. I'm really, really pleased you so enthusiastically have responded to his request, request in the chat. Uh, and it's really lovely to see, as I had expected to us, it's no surprise to see you tuning in from around the globe, uh, from just around the corner, actually, to uh, really all the corners of the world. Thank you very much. Uh, Rob has already introduced me as Professor Wim van der Steed. I myself am a Belgian, but I spent a lot of time in America, and now I've been here at LSE since 2006. Uh, I'm a professor of accounting. Uh, I am the academic director of the summer school. I'm also involved with executive education. I'm on LSE's board of directors, which is known as LSE's council. And actually, the, the one thing that I want to say even more is I'm uh, in a role for Houghton Street Ventures. Now, Houghton Street will be something that becomes very uh, critical to your uh, presence at the LSC because that's uh, uh, the, the, the main street where LSC uh, is uh, located and its old buildings uh, entrance uh, is. Now, Houghton Street Ventures is a fund that tries to support entrepreneurial uh, initiative uh, for our students. And so you can think of us as very well established, but you can also think of us as very uh, budding and uh, looking uh, towards the future and supporting uh, investments and initiatives that hopefully will make uh, the world a better uh, place. Uh, on that note, here um, you see some uh, numbers and some rankings, and there are gazillion rankings. Uh, I think if you look uh, through these, uh, generally it is fair to conclude that the London School of Economics is really a leading uh, global foremost social science uh, institution. Um, 
that said, uh, within even just the social sciences, we've got uh, 16 uh, disciplines. Uh, and what you will see in our courses offered under summer school that these draw from across these uh, disciplines, including accounting, of course, uh, but also finance and law, international relations, public policy, uh, and you uh, name it. Uh, and so uh, economics is in our name, uh, but social science is actually the spectrum of disciplines uh, that we uh, cover. We were founded in 1895. Since 1902, we have been in the location where we currently are, uh, and that's in the heart of London. Uh, and within earshot, proverbially speaking, of uh, the financial uh, centre, the city as it's known, uh, the legal uh, centre of gravity, uh, actually where our campus is hugging uh, on Lincoln's Inn, uh, and of course also um, uh, the political and public policy uh, center uh, known as uh, Westminster. Uh, uh, when you uh, end up on our courses, uh, you will be in the midst uh, of all that, and I invite you to uh, definitely extend your horizons beyond just our campus, and that's not difficult because, as I say, it's really uh, just all around us. Um, we, we also have uh, some notable and noble uh, alumni uh, or former students or, or faculty, uh, 80 Nobel Prize winners. Uh, some of the more recent ones is uh, uh, former Colombian president Juan Manuel Santos, who won the 2016 uh, Peace Prize uh, for his efforts to end the Colombian uh, Civil War. But we've also had Indian presidents, um, for the Americans amongst us, JFK uh, studied here, the, 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 the young John Kennedy in the 1930s. Uh, and there's other names that you can look up, and I'm sure we're known for in the press, like um, uh, Mick Jagger, although technically he didn't complete the course and he's technically not an alum, but uh, Sir Mick uh, obviously would always be uh, very welcome and we're very proud of the global fame that he has uh, uh, reached. On that, um, again, I, I, I think these are just some numbers, but let's talk a little bit about um, the summer school. It says Europe's largest summer school. Uh, it may be close to safe of even dropping Europe. Uh, I, I think we're a very substantive larger summer school. In the most recent full summer school before the pandemic, we had uh, 9,000 students. Um, but last year, we were very, very, very proud to also still have 2,500 students, uh, given the uh, pandemic uh, situation. And it was really a joy to see students uh, come again from all over the world, although it was a bit less balanced than it normally is because of travel uh, restrictions. Um, the program, therefore, makes LSE's world-leading teaching and research accessible to a worldwide audience. And you've seen yourself how worldwide that is from the reactions uh, in, the, in the chat. And that's an integral part of LSE's mission to educate for global uh, impact. So that's no different for our summer school than it is for our uh, regular daytime uh, programs uh, as it is for our uh, executive uh, education. Um, summer school offers you therefore the best of LSE, including our expert teaching, a globally relevant curriculum, professional skills workshops, and a social program that will help you make new friends from across the world. Now, in 2021, uh, for the first time in the program's history, uh, we offered the program both in person and online, uh, keeping summer school accessible uh, to this uh, global audience. Um, but it is very much our hope with the more positive signs for travel for 2022, fingers crossed, uh, to offer the program again uh, in an in-person format only so that you really can experience all that the LSE campus and London have uh, to offer. And I've spoken about that uh, uh, earlier. What I would like to end with uh, for my segment uh, of today's presentation is um, something I'm also very proud of, is that we are offering um, an academic director scholarship 
uh, in three areas, and you see them here on the slide, sustainability and development, responsible leadership, technology, media, and society. So these are the themes. And you can relate these back to uh, uh, educating for global uh, impact. These are very uh, pertinent and current and ongoing important global uh, issues. Now, within these, we have bracketed uh, a few of the uh, summer school courses that speak to these uh, themes. And if you have a place on a course that uh, is on the list, then you uh, can submit a short proposal, a motivation um, that uh, speaks to that theme and that may win you the prize if you'd like for a tuition uh, waiver for that course. Uh, as part of this academic director uh, scholarship. Uh, this therefore is uh, totally uh, merit-based uh, and there will be some guidance and some further details as to which courses, et cetera, and the deadlines and the dates and, and the length and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to make you uh, uh, aware. Um, so with that, um, I hope to see many of you um, um, in summer 2022. Uh, our summer school has a lot to offer uh, and so much more than I was uh, able to convey here in the short uh, few minutes that I have with you. Um, but uh, the vibe of the, of the chat box is uh, international global feel um, uh, is exactly as I would have expected. And I am very pleased to have seen such a degree of enthusiasm for this uh, webinar. Thank you very much. Rob, back over to you. Thank you very much, um, Professor van der Steed. Um, so uh, over to me now to give you a, a bit more of a sense of the three programme strands that make up the LSE Summer School offering. Um, I'll end by giving you some practical details on application. So I'm going to start with what's at the heart of the program, and, and, and that's the summer school students. And um, on screen, you've, you've got some stats and figures to, to give you an idea of the kind of student that attends summer school. But really, it's, it's very difficult to capture because there is so much diversity on the program. You'll see that the majority of students are current at undergraduates, but we do get a really good number of postgraduates and working professionals come and join us um, for the program. So we're really delighted that summer school's got that broad appeal. It's something that, that can enhance your, your academics, what, what you're doing with your um, home institution. But as well, um, you'll see in the nature of the courses that we offer, that the, this is an experience that can really benefit you professionally in terms of whether you're, you're currently working or you're starting to build your, your CV as you look ahead to your post-university steps. So what that does in the classroom is create a really rich environment. So we know, we hear it from student feedback year after year, that students really value that opportunity to study alongside people who've got really different um, you know, cultural and educational backgrounds, but also who have come from different professional contexts. And the second part of that diversity is the huge spread of nationalities that we have represented. So it, it really truly is a, a global program. It's a phrase that gets, gets used a lot to describe study abroad programs, but summer school truly is. Professor Van Steed mentioned earlier that we are the largest program in Europe by international enrollments, um, and, and we're really proud of the global appeal that we have. So even in summer school 2021, which given the, the challenges with COVID, was smaller than we'd see in a normal year. We still had 90 nationalities represented um, amongst our students um, and they were joining us from uh, over 500 universities worldwide. In a, in a typical year, um, we'd see well over 100 nationalities um, join us from across the world. And this includes students from top universities globally. You'll see to the right of the screen there, a table including some university names from which we've had traditionally very large groups of students join us. And you, you, you'll of course recognize most of those names, some really distinguished institutions. And the program is, is recognized academically by, by some of the world's top universities. And actually, the summer school curriculum and teaching staff really reflect the international ethos of LSE as well. So nearly half of LSE's full time teaching staff do come from outside of the UK. And you're, many of these um, teachers will be involved with the summer school programme. OK, on to the programme itself. So it's runs 
in the summer across nine weeks. But that nine weeks is actually split into three three week sessions. So a, a student, you can take up to one course per session. And I'll go into in a later slide what that in, involves in terms of kind of a typical timetable and the structure of the course. So many students will come and join us for just one session. You don't need to start with session one. You could come for sessions two or three. Um, but actually, a lot do join us for two and even three sessions to, re to really maximise their study abroad experience or, or their time in London if, if they're UK based in the perhaps studying in London for the first time. Um, expanding to three sessions, which we did a few years back, has also increased the availability of some of our most popular courses. So if you go onto our course pages, you'll notice that some courses appear in two different sessions. It's the same course, but they're so popular, we run them twice to try to, to make sure as many students as possible get that chance to enrol on them. Okay, on to the... Um, academic strand of the program, which of course is, is really the core part of the experience for you. So summer school courses, they're, they're based on typical LSE undergraduate courses. They're taught to the same high standards by LSE faculty. So you'll really get an authentic experience of, of the UK style of teaching and learning at what is one of the top universities in the country. So at LSE, it's, a, it's about giving you skills and confidence um, to apply your learning to informed debate, to, of course, expand your, your understanding of the subject area. But also it, it's about making sure you can develop transferable skills that you can apply beyond the LSE summer school classroom. And we offer a really wide range of courses across seven subject areas. So we have over 15 LSE departments represented on the program. So Professor van der Steed mentioned earlier, um, we are rightly famous for economics, but actually summer school reflects LSE strengths across the social sciences. So as in, in addition to economics, we're also ranked top 10 globally for, for a lot of other subject areas that includes accounting and finance, business and management studies, geography, law and politics. Now, as well as being split into uh, seven subject areas, they're split across three levels. And those levels broadly reflect the three levels, uh, three years of undergraduate study in the UK. So if you see a course that has a code that begins with a one, it's a 100 level course. And we would say it's an introductory level university course. Course codes that begin with two are 200 level and three are 300 level, and we would describe those as intermediate and advanced. So those 300 level courses, typically we might say they're equivalent to something you would study in your final year of an undergraduate degree or your first year of postgraduate study. Now, it's important to highlight now that you're not necessarily restricted by your current level. So if you're a first year student now, it is likely that you'll be eligible for 200 level courses and possibly even 300 level courses. Um, I'll come back to this when discussing entry requirements on a later slide. Equally, we know a lot of students will come um, to, to summer school to do something outside of their normal subject area, perhaps because they're thinking towards their their post-university steps and they want to do something that, that's kind of a, a move away from what they've been studying. So if, if you're a third year or a postgraduate student, from our perspective, you, you are welcome to apply for 100 level courses. Um, and the courses themselves, they really vary in size. Um, some, of our, some of our courses, so in finance, for example, they will often be 200, 250 plus students on the course. Um, some of the courses that are a little bit more niche in terms of the subject area might be um, quite a lot smaller than that but there really will be a lot of variation and I'll talk a little bit more about how we split up the, the whole cohort on each course on a later slide. Okay, so on screen there, you'll see um, a selection of courses. One thing to highlight now is that this is a selection just here to give you a flavour of the kind of course that we offer. So as I was mentioning earlier, um, our courses are, are very popular for academic reasons because of, of the, the renowned reputation for LSE, but you'll probably get a sense of the, from, the, from the course titles here that these are courses that really are, are um, 
designed to give you um, a kind of head start when it comes to your career and enhancing your CV as well. So, so courses covering subject content that really has a practical real world focus. Um, so if you've been on the summer school website recently, in the last couple of weeks, you 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 may well have come across a, a course list that now looks quite different. In the last week, we've updated it with lots of new courses that we're running in 2022. We're excited to be expanding our course offering up to over 75 courses this summer across the subject areas. So, as I say, if you've been on the summer school website in the last couple of months, please do go take a look again um, after the session or whenever you next get the chance, because you'll see some new options posted on there. So in terms of the core structure, it's an intensive experience and, and that's something we're not shy um, to tell students. It's important to flag it. Um, it has to be an intensive student to give you a, 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 a something that, that reflects the rigour of LSE, but also ensures that you can cover in three weeks what a student at LSE might normally cover over a full semester. So we break that down into 54 hours of teaching, so really substantial amount of contact time with the LSE teaching staff. And that is uh, typically 12 three hour lectures. And those three hour lectures, we usually have a, a little small break in the middle and 12 90 minute seminar classes. So it, it's a, a very learning experience and balancing lectures and tutorials. So those seminars or, or tutorials are the opportunity to, to break up into smaller groups. So even if your, your lecture has 200 people in it, those seminar classes are typically around 15 to 20 students and are usually more interactive and discussion based. Now, in terms of the assessment on the course, um, first thing to say is it's technically optional. So LSE Summer School does not make it compulsory for students to sit the assessments. And the reason why, because it's a summer programme, we have some people who come to, to get the LSE experience. Um, perhaps they are doing it to, to enhance their kind of professional um, standing, but they might not need the grade, they might not sit need to sit the exam. So in that case, we can offer you an attendance certification. So you would be eligible to receive an LSE Summer School attendance certificate at the end. Now, a lot of students, of course, do sit the assessments, particularly if they're looking to um, transfer credit. And if that's something you're thinking about, make sure before you apply, you're speaking with your home institution to check how that process works. But if you were to sit the exam, it's usually, so for most courses, it's a mid-session assessment that would take place in week two and a final exam in week three. So usually two assessed pieces of work feed into your final grade. There are some, some uh, a, a very small number of variations to that, but you can find out more on the individual course pages. So once you've completed the course, you'll be eligible to receive an LSE transcript, um, which is the document you'd use, say, for credit transfer or job applications and a summer school certificate, which is more of a kind of keepsake, a memento of your time on the programme. OK, so as a summer school student, you're here at LSE uh, for a relatively short period of time. But in that period, you're very much a part of the university and you get access to the same facilities that the full time students would. Um, we've got a really centrally located campus in London and, and we're surrounded by what is a, a really busy and vibrant parts of the city. Um, but actually the campus does retain a really strong community feel. It, the, the facilities are all located on one site um, and a lot of the streets are pedestrianized. So it, it does have a really kind of nice intimate feel despite being in such a busy part of the city. And the school has invested really heavily to develop the campus um, to offer you first class facilities and learning environments. So you see a few images on screen there. So top left is our um, student centre, which has won a lot of uh, architectural awards um, that contains uh, cafes, it, it, it's got a gym there, it's got, got a pub and nightclub, not, not the obvious combination from moving from the gym to the pub and nightclub, um, but a, a really wide range of um, resources for you to use and enjoy as a student. 
there's the centre building, which is to the bottom right there. So that opened back in 2019. And it's a, it's a really state of the art facility. It houses the school's leadership as well as some of our academic departments. And it's really popular with students because you see from the windows there, it's got study spaces all around the edge of the windows and they offer really great panoramic views across London. Um, as well, we have the LSE Library, which is the UK's National Library for Social Sciences and actually the large just in the world that specializes in the social sciences. So, so a, a really fantastic resource for you. And these are modern facilities that actually stand by side, side by side with some quite historic buildings. So we have some, some buildings located in the campus area that date back to the 1500s. So, so it's a really nice and interesting mix of old and new. And it's something that you'll see actually reflects London, um, the, the, the whole city in general. So outside of the classroom and, and campus, you'll also get access to a social programme, which is a, a really central part of that summer school experience. So we run a really wide range of events, and that's about making you, um, helping you to make new friends, to build global networks, and experience London and, and beyond. And, and year after year, from the student surveys, and, and from discussions with students themselves, we hear that it's a, it's a really important part of what makes summer school such a special um, experience. So it involves a mixture of free and ticketed events. And, and we, we, we have things running every day of, of the week. Um, so that includes walking tours through historic parts of London. Um, we have trips to the world famous university towns of Oxford and Cambridge. Um, West End theatre trips and the ever popular leave and party. So that's a, a party that runs on campus in the student centre um, at the end of the programme and is obviously a great chance for you to say farewell to the friends that you've made. Um, we also offer keynote lectures for summer school students. So LSE itself has a um, renowned history of offering public lectures by leading academics and policy makers and cultural figures. And we run our own bespoke lecture series for summer school students so they offer you access to really innovative and expert thinking so speakers in the past have included Charlie Bean who, who was serving then as Deputy Governor of the Bank of England and uh, LSE Sir Christopher Pissaridis uh, who is a winner of the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economics. And um, Kind of leading on from the social program, I'm just displaying on screen there to give you a sense of, of uh, uh, LSE's location with, within the city of London. So th th there we are, that red square, the LSE red square. Um, things to draw your attention to, there's the four red dots that you can see. So they are some halls of residence that are on offer for summer school students um, to stay in during, during your time with us. I'll come back to that on a later slide. And a number of London landmarks, which, which I'm sure you, you, you'll have heard of at least a few of them. Um, so LSE is, is really a, a great location from which to go and explore the city. So from my office, for instance, I can see St. Paul's Cathedral, which is a really glorious kind of religious um, site in, in, in London. And actually we can see a little bit of London Eye across the Thames. So Covent Garden is, is the walk up, um, up the road, a really vibrant part of the city with cafes and bars and shops um, and other ones you just hop on the tube which is the, the underground train network in London and uh, or, or jump on a bus so it, it's a it's a really great base from which to explore a, a fantastic city and a city which year after year is ranked as one of the best if not the best place in the world for students to, to study. Okay and the third strand the third and final strand of summer school is our professional school skills program. Now, now we know, and it will be something you're well aware of and have, have heard yourself at, at university and at school, that in, in the increasingly job competitive job market we have now, um, businesses, recruiters are looking for graduates who can show good grades, but also that they've really taken the chance to maximise their, their time at university to develop broader skills and experiences. So we've developed uh, what is a really extensive professional skills program to give you a head start with this. Now, actually attending summer school or any study abroad program is, is a really great way to do this. It, it shows employees that you've invested in your personal development, that you've 
you know, take taking a risk of studying in an environment that you've built international networks. But as well as that, we run a series of practical workshops. So these are designed to enhance your career prospects. And it includes sessions on, on building confidence to help you succeed in interviews and learning how to create a quality CV that will make an impact on recruiters at world leading companies. LSE Wellbeing runs sessions that support your personal development um, and you'll have a chance to develop a range of transferable skills through our digital and data skills sessions. So there, there really is a broad kind of variety of events on offer. So it's a great chance for you to enrich what you're doing in the classroom and socially. Okay, so on, on to a few practical details in terms of, of, of applying. So um, one thing to emphasize here is that applications are now officially open. Um, so you can visit the summer school website to apply online. And it is designed to be a, a quick and straightforward process for you. It's a short course, so we don't need to receive personal statements or, or mo reference letters. We need to see a copy of your up-to-date academic transcript, your fill in some personal details and um, select your, your course or courses. And if you do not study at an English, lang an English language university, um, you'll need to upload evidence of your English proficiency. So you'll see on screen there some of the qualifications that we accept, but I'd encourage you to visit the how to apply section of our website to get more details on, on those English requirements. We advertise a GPA um, of 3.3 in a 4.0 scale. Or, or B plus average, of course, those, those things will um, vary depending on, on the classification system that you have at your, your, in your home country. You can probably find some guidance on that in terms of how it transfers on the internet. And the academics who do these assessments are very well versed in the different, different classification systems. So that's what we advertise. It is sometimes possible that we can show flexibility um, depending on the strength of the application as a whole. So in particular, um, the assessors, the academics doing the assessments are often going to be most focused on how you're performing in the courses that are most relevant to the um, courses that you've chosen to study with us. Okay, so summer school tuition fees are displayed online there. So we, we have an application fee of £50, a non-refundable application fee, and that goes towards the processing of your application. And then we have the tuition fees that are in, the, in displayed on the table there. So you'll see two columns. We have a student rate, which is a applicable to anyone in full-time education. For anyone who's not in full-time um education, the, the final column on that table, the standard rate are the fees that would apply to you. And you'll see there that if you study more than one session, those, se those second and third courses start to become heavily discounted. Now, if you are attending through one of our partner universities and you pay the fees to them then obviously this is something that wouldn't be applicable to you you would make those arrangements directly with your home university okay um last thing from me for now and then i'll hand over to our alumni um is on accommodation so it's something we offer and is, is very popular with students, it's not compulsory. We know we have lots of students from within London, LSE itself, who will join us in the summer who don't need the accommodation. But for those who do or, or, or just want to stay in LSE accommodation, you have a wide range of room options. So, so they will suit a, a variety of budgets and vary in terms of how high spec they are. Um, so they are located kind of in and around the campus area some of them high hoban for instance you can walk down to campus from the others you'll you'll need to get the tube or the bus but relatively speaking they are very very central within london some of the most central student accommodation that london would be able to offer and again for central london um rates they are relatively speaking really good value and of course i think what, what's been 
particularly great in the last year and certainly in summer school 2021 is the support network you get there um, from the hall staff um, who, who are of course really kind of well versed in, in, in how to look after students and make, make, make sure they, they, they've got what they need. Um, and of course that opportunity to live alongside students from the course and, and uh, from the programme and meet people um, who you might not meet if you're just talking about which course you're on. Okay, um, now as well as the support that you'll get from the hall staff, we have a really large dedicated program team. So they are there to support you through the whole program cycle. So that's starting from now in terms of admissions through the program itself when we have an open office that students can come and walk into and drop in and, and, and get answers to their questions or, or tips on what to do in London through to post program documentation. We have additional support within LSE through things like like um, LSE Wellbeing, who can, can support with, with wellbeing matters, as well as the IT help desk within the library. So really an, an extensive array of support to make sure that you can have as smooth and as positive as experience as possible. Okay, um, at this point, I'm, I'm gonna hand over to our um, two alumni. So um, we have Daria, who's um, from, uh, the states joining us from the states today and Katharina from Germany so I think we start off if we can start with Daria um, and she's just going to share some words on her summer school experience um, and then they're both going to be able to join us in, in the Q&A afterwards to help out with answering questions. Hi guys my name is Daria Kukar I'm from Northeastern University and I'm studying international business and I was lucky enough to be a part of the summer school um, 2021 at LSC um, so why I chose the program initially was because it was one of the only summer programs open because of COVID and they had a real contingency plan. I was always in the know. And obviously LSC is a very prestigious school. Um, it's one of the Europe's largest summer school. So I decided that, you know, that wouldn't really hurt on my resume, especially um, it was my uh, summer of my freshman year where um, other students were seeking internships and I wanted to, to get some international experience under my wing before I had to you know, pursue more professional work experience. And also the location was outstanding. Um, I stayed at High Holborn, which is one of the accommodations and it was close to many sites. And there was also a social program that LC hosts for the students. And so that kind of brings me what, to what like, I got from this experience. And I think that I got a lot of valuable, not only educational information, but also social. My teachers were extremely interactive we had not only like lecture settings, but we also had seminars. Um, and we also got a, a very close bond with our students. There was a lot of group work present. So I got to work hand in hand with students from completely different educational backgrounds than myself, which was very, very enriching for me personally, um, as my educational background consisted strictly from the United States. And I learned to challenge myself, put myself out there. I grew more confident in myself, not only socially, but academically. And um, I met some of my best friends, which is amazing um, from around the world. And any tips that I have just for students that are joining the LSC was that become comfortable with being uncomfortable initially. That's completely normal when you're you know, studying in a different environment and attend as many social events as we can. I know Robert mentioned our outstanding social program. Go to as many as you can, meet people, um, you might, you never know, they might be your best friends and don't be intimidated by the coursework either. I know that there's, you're going to have a lot of hours um, a day of just strictly studying, but you learn to balance it with, you know, your social activities as well. And from my experience, summer three tended to be a little more international while summer one and two, there were um, a lot of students from like um, the North America. So um, just kind of a mix there, but overall very, very diverse backgrounds and um, the grading system is also quite different. So don't be upset if you get like a 70, for instance, it's actually really good on the British grading scale, but you just overall get a very, very great experience. And I'm so grateful to, you know, have done all three sessions. If anyone has questions, I know that we're gonna have a Q&A session at the end. Um, please feel free to ask, um, I'm happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. And, and over to Katrina. 
Hi everyone, my name is Katrina Klotz and I'm from Germany. I'm 19 and I'm uh, studying for a BA in philosophy and economics here. And this summer I attended session three, um, an international relations course actually with Daria. So uh, nice to see you again. Um, yeah, well, I actually chose LSE summer school for two main reasons, the one being academic, the other being social or lifestyle based. And I'll start with the academic, um, stating the obvious LSE is one of the best institutions in its field. Um, and that does not only mean that the professors, you know, are, have great reputation, but the teaching actually is world class. And um, I was curious to go there, be taught by, you know, um, engaged uh, and um, curious academics who, you know, have a great expertise in their subject. And I was certainly not disappointed, I think, I'm um, looking back now, um, LSE summer school was one of the best courses I've ever taken in my university career so far. And I'm not saying this because LSE told me to, that's, that's my, my, my real opinion. Um, we had such an interactive format. Uh, we had, especially in international relations, um, teachers from all over the world. So that made it extra interesting. And we had different styles of teaching. We even had a simulation where we um, did like international relations in, in a simulation. So that was great. So yeah, um, the academic experience really is a great uh, incentive for why you should come. And then on the other hand, of course, there's the social or lifestyle based part, um, which is, you know, being right in the center of London and exploring London and, and the UK more broadly with people who, you know, came to the UK for the very same reasons to explore. And so I feel like even though I was only there for three weeks, I got to see so much of the UK and London because, you know, within that LSE bubble, you're surrounded by people who really want to, to get to know one another and the country and the culture. Um, yeah, so that was great. And I, I was certainly not disappointed, especially because LSE social program really also showed us where to go, uh, for instance, Oxford and Cambridge. So yeah, um, the experience was really valuable for me, both personally and, and academically, I would I would highly recommend doing it. I'm actually considering re applying for another course next summer. Um, so yeah, um, I would highly recommend anyone to apply because, you know, it's, you know, the summer of your life really. Um, and regarding any tips I might have, well, first of all, as Daria said, it can be intimidating in the beginning because you come to London, you don't know anyone, and then all of a sudden you're surrounded by so many new people. But really, everyone's in the same position. And so you'll make friends so easily. And, you know, I made friends even the last day because there were so many people. So don't be afraid of that. Um, also, just take the opportunities you have engaged in the careers program, social program. Also, um, the LSE campus is great. Um, there are great spots and roof terraces to discover. And yeah, finally, uh, do apply for the Academic Director Scholarship. I'm lucky enough to be, uh, well, to have received the, the scholarship last year. Um, so if you have any questions in that regard, do ask me. Um, and yeah, I'd highly recommend everything and I'm, I'm really grateful for the experience I've had. Hey, thank you so much to both of you. Lots of really uh, valuable insights that, that you've both shared there. And um, a huge thanks to Daria and Katerina um, for your time. It's, it's really helpful for students, I think, to hear not, not just from people who work on the programme, but of course, people who've studied on it as well. And to Professor van der Steed for, for sharing his introduction to LSE in the programme at the start. So thank you again for joining us for this session. I hope you found it useful. If you've missed some of it, it will be available as a recording and, and we distribute that with, with everyone who has signed up. Um, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your days and um, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.